Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In this video I'm going to show you like early game solutions to get access to very cold um, materials such as liquid oxygen. So the first one is obviously using a thermal regulator. The best coolant you might have access to in early game is just hydrogen in its gas form. And you can pump that into a reservoir first and therefore your cooling loop will be constantly filled with 1000 grams of hydrogen per, yeah, per pipe segment, so to say. You could also set a little automation here, just use this sensor to measure the temperature inside the cooling loop and tell the game to run this until minus 200 for instance, so that way we will receive liquid hydrogen pretty easy and yeah, pretty early in the game. And that of course can be useful, useful for your rockets in case you don't want to go with the solid oxidizers such as oxalite because they are somehow complicated to produce actually. So keep that in mind, just use hydrogen for your thermal regulator and therefore you can have access to very cold materials in the early game. And yeah, for liquids there would also be an option with the aqua tuner. Of course, the technology for the thermal aqua tuner is all already around mid-game, so you can't have access to that before this actually is being researched. And the problem you usually have is that you don't have super coolant available at that time of the game as you can see. So I'm using a cooling loop of polluted water here, but I limited the amount of liquid inside the cooling loop to below one kilogram per pipe segment. And that's some kind of a base game mechanic. Um, any liquids, gases or solids in this amount will not change state when they are in a pipe or uh, on a conveyor rail or in a gas pipe, whatever. So it's a bit more complicated to actually fill this loop. As you can see down here, this is our reservoir of polluted water. Uh, I had to put a liquid valve firstly and I just set it to below one kilogram. For me that's just 900, you could also go for 999. Keep in mind that the liquid valve will require duplicate labor to actually be set up. That's why we had to sacrifice another duplicate in here. And that way you can uh, fill your cooling loop. Now the problem is you can't have a uh, liquid reservoir for this loop because uh, the liquid reservoir will try to put uh, yeah, as uh, uh, the highest uh, mass of uh, any liquid available to the pipes so it will just store up some of the liquids and then put 10 kilograms outside which will eventually lead to breaking pipes. So you can't have a liquid reservoir for this cooling loop. So this basically results in you having to yeah, remove the excess for the coolant in time. And therefore you will have, of course, like little gaps. I'm just gonna pause the game. As you can see, there are little gaps where there's no, where there's no cool coolant inside. And that's really not possible to actually fix that. And there's also another big problem with that build, and that is gonna be power. Uh, you are still feeding the entire 1.2 kilowatts to the aqua tuner, even though it only cools one tenth of the mass, so only around one kilogram instead of 10 kilograms per tile. So you're losing a lot of energy this way. Basically, you are deleting a lot of heat energy, so to say. And yeah, in case you don't have access to thermium in early game, you could also uh, build a thermo aqua tuner from gold amalgam. Uh, that way you have an overheat temperature of 175 degrees. In that case, it's probably useful to have some kind of a temperature measurement very close around it and tell the aqua tuner to stop once the temperature has been reached. So uh, your thermal aqua tuner will not uh, break over time. And there's also a little downside I have to tell you about the thermal regulator and that is it can't be covered in water or submerged. Just gonna fill here. As you can see, it's now flooded and therefore not operational. So you will 
always have to place your um, thermoregulator on top of some mesh tiles so there can be the coolant below but then you might have the problem uh, that the thermoregulator is not perfectly touching or getting in touch with uh, the liquid down there and you will need to place some like temp shift plates just like so one more point maybe i would like to stress and that is in case you don't want to go that deep in temperature like minus 200 for uh, liquid oxygen maybe if your target temperature is around minus 100 you can easily make use of ethanol for that because that's like the liquid you can go deepest in temperature in early game minus 114 so you can easily fill a loop entirely with just ethanol even though it has yeah not the great specific heat capacity of polluted water but still having 10 times the mass inside will make up for that more important enough so i think this is pretty much it to this video if you have any additions or comments please let me know in the comment section below otherwise i would appreciate if you guys considered to subscribe to the channel thanks and goodbye